हेलो गाइस सो वेलकम टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल ऑन एजियोर डेवोप्स विल बी आई बी शोइंग हाउ टू पुश योर सोर्स कोड और प्रोजेक्ट कोड टू द एजियोर डेवोप्स रिपोज़िटरी आई विल बी यूजिंग विजुअल स्टूडियो फॉर दिस पर्पस एंड आई हैव टेकन अप सैंपल dot net core web application with the ui interface using the angular so let me show you how the azure devops looks like so you'll have to log in to the azure devops first so this is a link you use do login so dev dot azure dot com this link i'll be providing in the description and uh, either you can push your code to the same organization or either you can create a new organization that's based on your need so i'll be using this organization and uh, let me create a project so that uh, in that project i'll be sending my code demo yeah so you can set the visibility of your repository if you don't want it to get accessed by everyone so that you can keep it private and share it with the only particular team members or if you go with public so anybody can look to the code inside your repository so i'll be using the private uh, repository private project Uh, once you create your project, uh, now the project is pretty empty, and uh, when you go to repos and files, so this is pretty empty. So nothing is there as of now. So we'll be sending our code over here. So let's go back to Visual Studio. Uh, first of all, you'll have to link. Uh, your local repository with the remote repository so for doing that you need to send your code to the or add your code to the source control so right click on solution uh, add solution to source control so this is how you can verify whether your code is added to the source control or not so this is show a lock sign uh, on the files then you can go to the team explorer uh, after going to team explorer you'll be shown this type of menu so you click on sync uh, there are two uh, in the visual studio you can send your code to github or azure devops or any other remote repository so in this tutorial uh, i'll be using azure devops for pushing my code so click on publish git repo uh, make sure you enter the correct credential to log into your visual studio so this is not the correct credential i have used i have to use this one so that i can connect to the my organization so once you click on the once you once the information is fetched using your credential you can see your organization over here and you can see uh, in which project you can send your repository this project code and I'll be selecting the project which I have created uh, before uh, adding to the source control this is the project which I had created that one was a private project so I'll be selecting uh, this project and uh, my repository name I can use it uh, my angular project uh, now I'll be publishing 
so here the output screen is shown if at all any error is shown then it will be shown over here that uh, something happened and the, it could not push the code to the repository so it usually happens because of uh, uh, credentials you use so it's better you use the correct credentials so now you see uh, it is now project connected to the azure devops and the link to the repository is over here so when i click on this link it directly goes to the my files my repository files so it will be sent to the master branch uh, i'll be sh in the next set of videos uh, i'll be showing how to send the code to another branch or how to create a new branch and how to merge these branches to the master branch but before that uh, let me make some changes and uh, uh, send the code to the repository uh, I'll be making changes to index.html file where is it app here let me make changes to app.html file no, count uh, yeah home yeah this is fine mm, let me write some topic When you save it, uh, you'll be shown a red tick mark. It means that uh, these uh, changes have not been pushed to the uh, remote repository. So how do you push these changes? So to push the changes, you have to go to Team Explorer. Uh, you click on changes. So whatever changes you made will be shown up over here under the changes tag. Uh, I think I had made some changes to yeah, that settings. Yeah. So these two changes uh, I have made, and uh, I'll be sending these changes to the Azure DevOps using the proper comments. Uh, comments are really useful for uh, differentiating, like uh, what sort of changes you have made, and uh, mm, so I'll write as uh, updated. Uh, home dot component dot html so uh, you can commit the changes now changes are committed to your local repository so now you have to sync and these changes will be shared with the remote repository so I click on sync now outgoing commits are shown over here when you like uh, push the changes now it is pushing my code to the remote repository yeah so now this outgoing commits are empty so your code has been successfully pushed so to see the changes I'll go to my remote repository and uh, on the dashboard page uh, you can see like uh, how many commits have been made so let me see the commits yeah see uh, updated uh, home dot uh, component dot html so when you click on that uh, you can actually see what exactly the changes you made so if at all you would have deleted this file and uh, replaced it with this one so there it would show as negative minus sign and here it will be shown as positive sign if you would have replaced this line so now let's come to the another case so if I make changes if somebody else is uh, having access to your repository and if that person make changes how do you 
uh, get those changes and include it in your uh, local repository so let me change make changes uh, in the remote server itself mm, i will be going to so uh, let me make changes to counter file yeah let me add another heading oh you have to click on edit So this is a change I have made and I will be committing these changes uh, using the proper commit yeah it has already come up the commit like or default comment what file you have changed so it will be appended with the updated string so I will be making my changes to the master branch and I will say as commit now when you commit it now so how do you get those changes so as sure from the starting uh, you go into the sync and you pull the changes so before st every day what you have to do before starting your work you take the latest code from the remote repository and then you make changes so it's a uh, good practice to get the changes first and then you make your changes so I'll click on pull so, so when you click on pull so whatever changes new changes are made to the repository so it will be automatically pulled to your local repository yeah, see repository updated with the comment so let me go to that counter file counter.html see uh, this is a change I have made into the server repository and it has automatically come here yeah uh, in the next set of tutorials I'll be showing how to uh, create a CI CD pipeline that is continuous integration and continuous de deployment to your Azure uh, resource app service so that you can directly publish your project to the Azure. Yeah, that's all. Thank you all.